Hi everybody, this is Jam and Jamie from Jam and Leather. Just want to show you some of the uh, varieties of leather that's available for you to buy uh, when you're shopping Jam and Leather or any place else. You want to make sure you get the right product and uh, the right leather for the right product. So I just want to show you an introduction of a lot of different leathers that are available, not only different colors, but different qualities of leather that you should get familiar with. Uh, we'll go with some of the premium leathers here. We got Buffalo. We got buffalo in three different hides here. Just so you have a familiar with the buffalo, it has a different grain. If you get really close, you can see that there's a more of a grain in this in your buffalo hides. And this is good in your uh, medium weights. Most of your buffaloes and a lot of your biker leathers saw it sort of 1.2 millimeter thickness. That's available in just about everything that you get. You can get it a little heavier, 1.4 or so, but it's not always necessary. They Sometimes they vary so much it's hard to predict what the actual run of skins will be for any run of goods. So just keep that in mind. Buffalo is a great hide to use for just about everything and very, very durable. Just like cowhide. Here's an example of cowhide right here. Cowhide is a little more even grained than buffalo leather is. Uh, cowhide has the same quality, durable properties as the buffalo does, but it's, uh, it's a little bit more even grain. That's the only thing you really have to know the difference. The price uh, of the garment is generally the same unless it's premium. If it's premium, it's probably worth a little bit more than the standard buffalo leather. Obviously, buffalo can come in colors. When they use this, this is more of a naked feel to it, which means there's less finishes on it. It can stain. Something like this is a distressed leather in, in buffalo, and it kind of shows the character of the skin a little bit better throughout the garment. It's just one of many ways that we offer uh, the, the leather. Uh, going down in price, if you want a lesser price uh, garment, you can get it in colors too, but I'm just saying, going back to a lesser price product, you go with a, uh, and this particular item is made of a split leather. You might see that a little bit more often. If they don't say if it's buffalo, cowhide, um, or full grain, if they just say it's leather, it's possible that it's only split leather. We try to make sure that we tell everybody when they get split leather because it is a less expensive piece and it's more pri uh, price conscious. A split leather is very, very rough to the touch. It's a little bit more coarser. It's not as broken in. It's not going to give you that feel of the naked will. This gives you a nice crunch and it kind of falls back into place. Where this one here might crease up a little bit. Also stiffer and it has to be broken in. It's a lower price product, but it's also a good value price. So you want to consider that sometimes if you're, if you're price conscious. Another price conscious piece, which is getting a little expensive these days, is pigskin. Pigskin leather has a little, sometimes has a little bit of grain in it. Sometimes you can see the hair follicles if you look really close. Sometimes you can see hair follicles throughout. Buffalo and pigskin both have hair follicles that you can see in the skin when you're looking at the leather. Um, sometimes it's not so noticeable. Cowhide, you really don't, it's almost indistinguishable. Um, so just keep that in mind. The pigskin is a good product. It's very soft. It's usually thinner than your buffaloes and cowhides, but it's a good value price product. It's a good for everyday use, not necessarily the best for motorcycle riding. So keep that in mind when you're going. You've got lower priced pigskin. You've got even, even lower, the lowest priced pig, uh, cowhide uh, split leathers. You've got cowhide premium. You've got buffaloes in here. And then if you're really looking for a price conscious product, this is split leather. I mean, sorry, patch leather. The patch leather product is made of a bunch of pieces. Not necessarily the most recommended piece to offer, to, to use, especially to ride in, but it is available and it's very, very inexpensive. It's made with patches of pieces of leather. Usually, most common is to be pigskin and uh, lambskin will be mixed together and sheepskin. They'll all be mixed together. Sometimes they'll mix in buffaloes and cow hides. It depends on the scrap that's available and the manufacturer's making it. But for the most part, you really never know what you're going to get, but you know you're going to get a good price. There's two more leathers that I haven't covered yet, and that is lambskin and goatskin. Lambskin, is also known as sheepskin in some cases, has a very similar product. It's a very wonderful product. It's nice and soft, very, very soft, very smooth grained, and it's also your premium leathers. A lot of your lambskin is in your high-priced products, and it depends on the grade of the skin. You can get less expensive lambskin, but for the most part, your, most of your lambskins are a higher price. Keep in mind that lambskin is not good for riding, and it's also uh, a product that can be... Um, rip very easily. So you want to be careful on using that for uh, anything that would be for sport related activity like motorcycling. Last is goatskin. Goatskin, this is a sample of goatskin since we don't carry in a lot of leather jackets, but for the most part goatskin is a smaller grain leather. See if you can see really close you can see a small pebble grain as opposed to a cowhide. Cowhide here as you can see has a little bit larger pebble grain and this here, this 
cowhide is more likely to be a little more durable than the, than the goat skin, but goat skin is a great product for most of your accessories. It does have a little bit more grain to it. Sometimes the goat skins they use in a naked, that's why this is dull finish. Dull finish is kind of hints that it's a naked leather. Just, uh, just so you know, goat skin's great in a lot of accessories. You want to check out what you're buying first. If they don't say, if they say leather, you never know what it is. But sometimes you want to make sure that you know what you're getting when you buy it. We appreciate you checking out Jam and Leather. Shop with us again.